Garvey says he's confident he can win this race, but he acknowledges it won't be easy. It's nice to meet you. How are you? See you too, sir. Steve Garvey shaking hands with Californians of all ages at the Sacramento Park. We've got to turn California around. It's one of many stops he's made across the state after finishing in the top two during the March primary. I think we stunned not only California, but the country. Speaking with us one-on-one, -on -one, he says he's kept busy since voters sent him and Democratic Congress member Adam Schiff to the November general election to face off for the U.S. Senate seat long held by the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. Where we've come in six and a half months, I think is a, a minor miracle because this is the state of California. Uh, we're very aggressive in terms of, uh, uh, of our mantra, which is common sense, compassion, and consensus. Garvey says much of his focus has turned to the Israel-Hamas war and the violence on college campuses. How he describes it? Terrorism disguised as free speech. And uh, we should have free speech, but it should be organized the right way. Uh, it shouldn't attack other people. And essentially, when they're attacking the students who are Jewish, it's a hate crime. I support Israel yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I believe we stand by them. We provide their needs. Uh, but we can't tell them not uh, to protect their sovereignty. On domestic matters, he says if elected to the Senate, he'll push to secure funding for homelessness resources, local police departments, and border security. As for what he describes as the issue? Our economy. It's the, uh, it's the kitchen table. Uh, to, uh, to the gas station, to all those uh, needs that uh, hardworking men and women have every day, they need help. That, he says, must include lower taxes, but it's that very issue of his taxes that's garnered a lot of attention. Documents show he's owed at least $350,000 in back taxes to the government. His opponent writing Californians deserve a senator who will fight for them, not someone who thinks the rules don't apply to him. What do you say to critics who say, well, you've owed a lot of money in taxes. How are we supposed to trust you with our tax dollars? Well, I've, uh, for 50 years, so always filed my taxes on time. Uh, there have been some challenges that we've had. We have ongoing discussions. Uh, uh, with the IRS and the state, and it will be resolved um, in the very near future. And I, I, we, we never neglect our responsibility. As for other matters, while Garvey voted for former President Donald J. Trump in previous elections, this time... Are you prepared mm -hmm. to make an endorsement? No, not at this time. Again, we'll see. Most important, he says, is winning his race. You're a Republican running in a blue state. Can you win? Oh, absolutely. We've had significant progress with independents. Uh, those that are undecided, the disenfranchised uh, Democrat. And we will win it because we care about all people. And Garvey really wants to make clear, he says he's in it to win it. He says he's already been campaigning up and down the state, something he says you can expect more of as we approach Election Day, November 5th. And by the way, Eric and Nikki, that is 186 days away. But who's counting? Reporting live from the state capitol covering local news that matter is Aton Wallace. Fox 40 News.